Hello everyone and welcome back to the course Angular Login and Registration with Week Backend. Today's topic is Custom Service and this is our last tutorial of the series. In this tutorial, we will be putting all our pieces together and in the end, we will be having our application secured up and running. So, topic number 5, Custom Service. Now in this tutorial, the first thing that we will be doing is creating a new folder named as custom service and inside this folder we will be creating three services authentication service message service user service and one file directly under app folder with the name usermodel.ts now we will be adding code to each file starting with authentication service message service, user service and usermodel.ts. So the previous three files that we have seen are service files. Now we will be using this file to pass user data. After this, we will be updating app.module.ts file. Now since there were a bunch of files that we have created without using Angular CLI, so our application doesn't know about them. Now we will be adding these files in order to tell application that we will be using these files. After this, we will be updating app.routing.model.ts. In this file, we will be adding our new components and updating the old routes with can activate. Apart from these changes, Few more files we need to update that we will be putting in coding part. So let's start coding. Now here, the first thing that we will be going to do is, we will be creating a new folder, name as custom service. Now inside this folder, we will be creating three files and the first file is authentication dot service dot ts let's add the code After this, we will be creating another file message service.ts. And it's code. And our last service, which is user service. It's good. Now we have created all these three services. Next thing is to create a new file named as user model dot ts. And this is the code. Okay, so now we are done with the new files. Now let's start updating the previous ones. So we'll be starting with app.module.ts file. Now here, inside the provided section, we'll be adding all the services, interceptors, and auth guard.
so I've just pasted it now let's import all these files so the first file that we'll be importing is root card then we'll be importing interceptors now this is from common HTTP and this is the interceptor that we have created now our other files as well okay so importing providers is done one more thing that we need to add in the import section so this is the import section here we'll be adding one more import which is for dynamic forms and the name of that import is reactive forms module so since we have used a dynamic forms binding we need to import this module as well so we are done with the app module the next component is routing file let's go to the routing file now here we'll be adding the new routes and do remember that this is routing is sequential so if you add the components after this this path this so the file that we'll be adding after this won't ever get executed so make sure to add before this because this is a wildcard search we need to have the specific files on top of this wildcard so here we'll be adding path for login and registration so for login and the component is login component and the last one is register which is from register component now we have added the new routes next we need to secure the files so the routes that we want to secure is home table forms charts and HTTP so for that we need to type can activate and in front of this we need to provide the file which is root guard and that's it we have saved our home link or you can say madboard component a similar thing will be copy pasting for other links as well table form charts and HTTP so we are done safeguarding our URLs after this we need to prepare the landing page so because we are using login we need to provide a landing page and for that we'll be editing our mad board component let's go to the mad board component HTML here we'll be just adding one loop which will be going to loop through all the users basically it will show as an admin wherein it will populate all the users which are there available with us so let's just copy the code okay so the all code remains same in order to just save time and to find the proper place i'm just copy pasting the entire code basically the change that we have done is here this is the part next is to get these users we need to make changes in the component ts file let's copy the code here we have added new methods which is for delete user and load all users you just paste it now our landing page is done the last part is to update 
component. Now here we need to add a new selector that is for message and I have added a logout link so that it will look good. Let's go to the mat nav HTML part and just paste it. Okay. Now since I have used this function, so we need to have this function in our TS file as well. Let's add the code. So this is a function that I have added and to use routers, I have added router in the constructor. So these are the changes that I have done. Okay, so now we have added the function. Let's just update the CSS. So for already available CSS, we have these two. Inside these two, I am just adding flex direction. For one, it is row and for another, it will be row reverse. And apart from these two, these are the new CSS. Let's paste it. Okay. Now, we have added all the pieces. Let's just bring our application up and for that, we will be doing ng sir. So while Angular is building our application and bringing the server up, let's just go back and you know see what our changes that we have done is. First, we have created three new files inside custom service. Then we have created a new file user model directly inside the app. After that, we have updated the module our module file, then routing file, and then we have just prepared our landing page so that our application look neat. Also, we have updated the CSS. So we have made all these changes. Now it's time for us to just verify and see what we have built after all these five tutorials. Okay, so let's just hit localhost 4200. So earlier, this URL will be opening our mat dashboard. But now, since we have added login, it should open login. And here it is. Now let's try with any username and password to verify if our application is validating the user credentials or not. See, we got the message which says username or password is incorrect. So let's register our user. And username will be same, hashtag. Password is one, two, three, four, five, six. And let's register. So once we register, we'll be sent back to the login page with the successful message. Let's try with the user we just created. Hashtags and password one two three four five six. Now see, we are logged in, and this is the component that we just updated to display all the registered users, and we only have one, which is this. Now let's log out, and let's try the Windows back button. Now if see. We are not getting back to the page. So our user is already invalidated. Well, let's try hitting the other URLs. And our auth guard is preventing an unauthorized access. Now let's try direct URL. So instead of login, let's go to the HTTP. Now since our user is not logged in, we should not be redirected to the HTTP. And there it is. We are redirected back to the login page. Let's try login again with the user. 
that we have created and validate all the features that we have created are working see we have tried http and it already had this link we have sent this as a parameter and once the user is successful login we are directly logged into the particular link which we are trying to access and let's try the http call since we have added jw token and i've shown you a function where we have excluded git this should work and there it is it is fetching the details from the github so that's it from this particular series and our application is up secure and it's working fine and let's log out using this url our application testing is done let's move on to the summary part now in this tutorial we have created a folder and a file the name of the folder was custom service which had three files and one file we have created under the app the name of the file was user model we have updated app model and app routing files apart from these we have updated madbot component to serve as a landing page in the end we added our message selector to display messages and logout link with some css updates for proper positioning of our dashboard header that's it folks uh, that's all we did and we have completed the tutorial as well as our series hope you guys like the series and found it useful if so then please don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel i'll be uploading the code onto my git so you can get the code from there i've added the link in the description so you can download the code and thanks for watching